What's going on guys? Today on How to AK, we're going to do something a little different. This is going to be a little more uh, in-depth, and some of you guys aren't going to have a way to practice this, but if you do, I highly urge you to do it. we have been getting a lot of questions lately on how to practice target acquisition, transitioning from target to target fast while using, you know, the mechanics of an AK. A little bit different. Today's test mule is just going to be a pretty basic SLR 106, basic furniture. We are running a JMAC muzzle brake and a tuned up ALG trigger, so we're going to be able to speed up a little bit, but we are going to run iron sights. So let's go ahead and show you guys the setup. My targets are spaced about three feet apart. They're in line with each other. One, two, three targets. The closer you get to a target and the farther they're spaced apart, that's the farther you have to swing. You're going to speed up, pump the brakes on a target, squeeze two triggers, speed up, pump the brakes on another target, squeeze the trigger, and so on and so forth. This is a really easy way to train. If you have a range that allows you to set up a few targets like this, take advantage. This is a good way to train. I believe they call this like an El Presidente drill, but I just do two shots in each target. So here we go. Safety on, chamber round, low ready, and you're waiting on the beep. Stand by, go. Now you can make this drill a lot harder by spacing your targets out farther which makes you swing the rifle more to each target but right now we've got them really close so I think we have enough rounds I like to call this next one musical chairs what I'm gonna do is I've got target one two and three target one two three one target here one round second target two rounds third target three rounds back to number two two rounds back to number one 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 two one two three one two one one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, it's gonna look something like this. Make sense? So what we'll do now is, we'll just do one, 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 one. Target one, target two, target three, target two, target one. Okay, here we go. Left to right. Nice and easy drill for you to practice at your range, if you have a range that allows you to do that. So guys, I know the glare is a little bit bad, but now you can see that we've really spaced out our three targets. I'm gonna move up pretty close. The closer I get, the more drastic, the more drastic my swings are going to be. The farther I come away, you know, it's just a, an easy little turn, but the closer I get, I'm going to have to make really drastic turns. So another good way to train with only three targets. So let's move up and do that. kind of see on those first two iterations my cadence was a little weird it was like bang 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 that third one sounded better it was nice bang 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 a little bit slower easier to control and I didn't find myself pausing and searching for the target as much let's do the same thing but we're gonna incorporate reloads into it so uh, I'm not too sure how many rounds I have in this mag both mags are gonna be underloaded so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep putting two in each one until I'm empty. There's going to be a reload in between there somehow. So it's, I'm just going to keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two, click. Finish it until I'm done. Another good way to train with three targets and only two mags, and you're getting a reload worked in. So everything got plugged twice when it was supposed to. It's good. So here what we're going to do is we have three mags, two rounds per mag. 
I've got three targets that each need to be shot twice. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have two rounds. I'm going to be getting ready to shoot this guy on the beat. I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to come over here, hit a dead trigger, click. Reload, charge. One, two, come over here, click. Reload, charge. One, two, click. That's what we're going to try to do. So you can see there I was letting the trigger go dead every time. Even though I knew I was going to go empty, I didn't want to prematurely reload. I wanted to work that charging handle every single time. That was only six rounds in the amount of training that you get from that one stage. Reloads, shooting under stress, under a timer, shooting multiple targets, uh, recoil mitigation, accuracy, charging handle manipulation, safety manipulation with six rounds. Pretty cool little drill. So now we're down to two targets, one to my left, one to my right. Four rounds in my first mag. Four rounds in my backup mag. The goal here is to on the go. First target, one, two, a quick change. One, two, dead trigger, reload, charge. Back to that original target, one, two, one, two. No wasted movement. If you've got to hit this guy again, there's no point going back to your first target and then finishing on him. Your gun's already in this direction. Reload. Charge. Bam, bam. That guy's done. Bam, bam. No wasted movement. Left, right, left. I really don't want to be standing all casual, ready to get on that first target. I'm going to be aiming at him. Slightly down, that way it's just safety. Bam save a lot of time doing that so let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out where's my sights right here there's his chest down hand is on the safety ready to swipe I nod to my RSO he's gonna say stand by and go stand by go Saved a lot of time getting my body ready, pointed in the right direction. I knew right where my iron sights were gonna come up. My cheek was right where it needed to be. My shoulders were already in line, ready to go. On that beep, it was nothing more than safety. Safety, click. Just remember that, guys. You're under the clock, get your body fully ready for that first target, and you might shave about a second off your time. Something to think about.